Good morning, it's Thursday, and I'm so happy to be with you this morning. So I have a couple of things to share with you that some of you may not like to hear. And sometimes we need to hear, all of us need to hear some hard lessons and some hard things that we just need to be reminded of. And God put this squarely on my heart this morning to share with you. So sometimes we tend to live our lives like the damsel in distress, like, oh, oh, I can't believe this is happening to me. Why is this happening to me? Oh, poor me, poor me. So I don't want to minimize situations and when people are going through really hard times, which by the way, a lot of people are. But please understand that when we're in Christ, we have an opportunity to frame things differently. We have an opportunity to see the world differently through the eyes of our Savior. Jesus did not do what Jesus did for you and for me on the cross so that we could live our lives in, oh, poor me, what am I ever going to do? How is this ever, how am I ever going to figure this out? Well, guess what? You're not designed to figure this out by yourself. We are designed to frame everything that happens, everything that happens through the lens of our risen Savior through the lens of the power of the Holy Spirit. So with that in mind, I share with you the Jesus Calling reading from today that is so amazing and powerful. Listen to this. Stop worrying long enough to hear my voice. I'm going to say that again. Stop worrying long enough to hear God's voice. I speak softly to you in the depths of your being. Your mind shuttles back and forth, back and forth, weaving webs of anxious confusion. As my thoughts rise up within you, they become entangled in those sticky webs of worry. Anybody watching this have any sticky webs of worry? Thus, my voice is muffled and you hear only white noise. Ask my spirit to quiet your mind so that you can think my thoughts. This ability is an awesome benefit of being my child, patterned after my own image. Do not be deafened by the noise of this crazy world, I added crazy, of this world or that of your own thinking. Instead, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Sit quietly in my presence, letting my thoughts reprogram your thinking. I'm going to read this part again. Do not be deafened by the noise of the world or that of your own thinking. Instead, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Sit quietly in my presence letting my thoughts reprogram your thinking. Does your thinking need to be rebooted or reprogrammed today? Do you find yourself getting stuck in the woe is me? What am I ever going to do? How am I ever going to handle this? Do you find yourself trapped in that sticky web that keeps God's voice out? The scriptures that are cited, the first is from Deuteronomy, and it says that you may love the Lord your God, listen to God's voice, and hold on tightly to God. For the Lord is our life, and God will give us many years in the land that he swore to give to our ancestors. Genesis says, we are created by God in God's own image, in the very image of God, we are created. And finally, Romans 12. Listen to this, my friends. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. 
Jesus did not do what Jesus did for us. God did not do what God did for us. For us to continue to think that we have to figure everything out all by ourselves because we are so clever, we are so intelligent, we have such gigantic egos, and why is it that we need to be continually reminded that God wants us to come to God with bended knee, with heads bowed and say, Lord, I cannot do this by myself. Please show me what your will is for this situation. And there is no situation, not one, that God cannot help and support and guide us through. But we have to stop the screaming that goes on up here. We have to stop the chatter the committee that's always at work, the coulda, woulda, shouldas. Please join me this morning as we reboot those voices, as we reboot and allow God to be the primary voice, the first voice that we hear, not the hand wringing, damsel in distress. Turn the drama volume down. In fact, turn the drama volume off. Worry, worry, go away. This amazing, wonderful little book that I've been reading from. Again, the reading for today is spot on. That's no accident. It says, find a helpful grown-up. Talk about your worries to a helpful grown-up. As soon as you tell someone, you feel calmer. Your stomach ache may disappear, your heart will stop racing, and your headache will go away. Sometimes when worries seem really big, your mom might suggest you talk to someone special like a counselor. That's a good thing. Ask your parents or a helpful adult to make alone time with you. This is when you can take your worries out of your worry box and share them. A little boy named Ben was nervous right before he had to play the piano. His mom knew he needed some alone time, so she took him aside. He told her he was nervous about making a mistake. She said she reassured him by saying, Honey, as long as you try, it's okay. Ben walked on the stage and said to himself, It's not the end of the world. I'm just going to do my best. And he did. Find a helpful grown-up. You know, there are lots of people who are older or old who are not grown-ups. There are lots of people who act like children, who act like immature, frightened toddlers sometimes. And all of us, I think, are guilty of that at times. I know I certainly am. Trust me when I tell you, these things that I teach, I'm teaching from experience I stub my toe all the time. I do not walk this walk perfectly. Ask anybody who knows me well. They will certainly tell you. But what I want you to hear this morning is that we have the power of the creator of the universe in us. And we have the ability to quiet those voices, to turn that drama volume down, and to let God lead us. Please pray with me. Gracious, loving God, we thank you. We thank you for the gift of your love and your direction and your power. We thank you that we get to be in your family, that we get to be in your royal kingdom. We thank you that we are among those who you love and who you guide and help. Help us to turn down the volume and the noise in our heads. Help us to turn to you, God, for all things. Help us to surrender that need that we have to control. And let us hear your guidance and let us hear your voice. And then help us to get out of our own way. Teach us how to do for other people. Teach us how to reach out in kindness to others without having our own selfish agendas right at the forefront. God, today I ask that you would turn my thinking around. 
I ask that for everyone who's seeing this, that you would turn their thinking around, renew our minds, that only way, the only way that you can, with the power of your love, and allow us to trust. Please say with me the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. What are we doing today, God? What's in the plan? I have absolutely no idea what this day holds. I have absolutely no idea what will be required of me. I have no idea what buttons will be pushed in me. I have no idea, but I trust in you. And I trust you to guide me and to show me how to be your ambassador of love in this crazy, complicated world. Thank you for watching today. If this has been helpful, would you please consider sharing it on your own page? Um, I'm interested to know if you're hesitant to share on your page, why that may be. I would love to know how I can help to support you or maybe help to support this message in a way that makes it um, easier for you to share in a different uh, format, perhaps. So I just wish you all blessings. Remember, Bring the drama down, turn that drama volume all the way down or turn it off and let's have a beautiful, safe and love filled day. Thanks.